everybody, it's Valerie, Valerie Wallace Fine Arts here in Orono, Maine in my basement studio and we're about to have our one o'clock drawing class that we have every day and today we're going to do a lagoon with a palm tree and I'm like ready to get started. Are you guys ready to get started? You probably are because I'm three minutes late. Okay? Alright, so the thing with this, this picture today, great colors, Use all your blues, lose all your greens. If you don't have colors, I'm going to do one in black and white down here. Don't worry about it. Um, is that we need to do the tree first. Normally we would start with a horizon line, but we're going to do the tree first so that we don't wind up um, having these tree, this, all this trees here on, on the beach um, showing our tree trunk. Okay? All right, so let's do that. And the thing I want to do is that I don't, this one goes right off the corner of the page. I'd like you to have it go around here because what we're going to do is give it a shadow. And the shadow is really just kind of a neat little thing. And if it's touching the edge of the paper, there's no room for a shadow. So we'll either make a shadow that goes this way or you can make one that goes this way or whatever when, you, when it's time. So we're going we, you know, to find where we want that to be. This one leans a little, which I think is kind of neat. So if I'm going to go to here, maybe I'm going to go around here. And I'm going to bring myself a line that comes down. I'm using kind of a warm brown, light brown. You use something light to start out with. And that way you can adjust and modify and, and um, be able to like, you know, when you make a final decision, you can just make that a lot darker. I have to make it a little darker so you can see it. It's a little skinnier at the top. So I'm going to start a little bit closer together up here. I'm going to do the two pieces. Okay. That will be good enough. That'll save it. I'm going to color it later and everything like that, but that'll save it to, um, for, so they have that space. Um, I'm going to put the bottom here. Like I said, I'm going to lean it a little bit, so I'll put it maybe here. Okay? this brownish color to kind of sketch in the idea of the palm branches partly because um, it isn't bright bright green what happens with a lot of the greens is they're just too intense and so using a little brown a little orange something like that will kind of make them seem a little more natural okay um, I put up a picture with a whole bunch of different ways to do palm trees so you can kind of you know, realize, I mean, maybe the most important thing is to realize that you can do it all sorts of different ways. There's no one right or wrong way of doing it, okay? Um, what I find is that there's a lot of branches, so there's some that go like this and out, coming down, right? And then maybe something that's a little bit shorter, because it might be the branches... There's, there are branches that are going this way, and then there are some that are going this way, but there's also some that are going that way. So those would appear to be a little shorter, okay? Um, I, and it's kind of blowing in the wind and, you know, whatever. So maybe a curve, okay? Sort of like that. Can you see that? Is that dark enough? You can see it. It's okay. a little light. Though. So I'm not going to go crazy dark because I do want it to be green, but I need to kind of save this spot... So that when I'm doing the all the rest of the sky and the clouds and the gr the green below, that I know that I don't want to color through my tree because it's just going to make too much going on. Um, so all I'm doing is little short, hairy little lines that are hanging down because gravity's pulling. If they if they go out, it probably looks like it's windier. Okay, which is great. Nothing like a beautiful windy warm day at the ocean. Mm. Although, I, I mean, I've been to Florida, but I've never been to a tropical island. But it is something that I do dream of. I do, I do, I do. I love to go swimming in the ocean. I do love swimming in the surf. I've always been really interested in um, surfing, too. Yeah? Mm -hmm. I'm afraid of sharks, though, as, as we've discussed. Mm -hmm. A lot. So that would be the deterrent. But otherwise than that, I'm not afraid of waves. I love waves. Of course, I mean, I do respect the fact that they can kill you. But, you know, I mean, I don't know what I'm doing as far as surfing. I wouldn't know what I was doing. But I would be all over that. I love the ocean. I love to go when it's, when there's 
like going to be kind of a storm coming or the full moon's coming. And then if we get there, I'll drive two and a half hours to go to the ocean, Poplar Beach, my favorite place. If we get there and there's no waves, <laughs> it almost never happens, but it's pretty disturbing then. Okay. We're going to have the line that goes underneath the green trees is going to be a horizontal line, okay? What's going to happen when we do the beach is it's going to drop down as it goes, and that's what's going to make it look like the beach curves and goes off into the distance, okay? But this one is just a horizontal line. This is the thing you want to do. You don't want to not have enough room for like a nice lot of blue here. But, and you also want some beach here, but at the same time, you don't really want to have the green that's on these trees get all messed up in your um, palm tree, if you can help it. Okay, so what you can do is just make them smaller, but uh, it just kind of confuses things. We love having the, the trunk be an overlapping, depth creating piece, but we don't want to, we want this, all this greenery here to stand on its own, okay? So, when I do that, I'm going to pick, um, if I pick a spot, like maybe about here, I still can make trees that are this tall, and they will still not interfere with my, um, my whatever it's called, pine, pine, not pine tree, palm tree. So, when I do this line, let's see, I want to get it pretty horizontal. Again, you want it light, I'm going to make it dark. To come out on the other side like this and go off the page. What ha happens here is like it comes out to a point and then there's another, in the distance, there's another part that goes out. So that actually is a little bit higher like that, okay? That might be a little bit higher than I want, but no, I guess not. I guess that'll work fine. Okay. Um, so same thing down here, I'm going to find a spot. I don't want to, like I said, I don't want to get much lower than around halfway from top to bottom. This is about halfway, but depending on where your tree is and stuff like that. All right. I mean, there's no right or wrong. All it would take, if you ever take any pictures, all it takes is you moving from here to here and and everything changes when you're taking a picture or if you're standing somewhere, all you got to do is move a little bit. Are these horizontal? I can't see. Mm, this one? Mostly. Oh, okay. This one, this one needs to go a little lower here. So I'm going to do that because what's up there is going to become my trees. Okay. And then I'm going to put my other one here. Okay. Mm -hmm. I love it already. Is it easy? It really is. It really is. You know what? Everybody that's watching, you should try to get one person to try. You should see my mother. She's like made a made a dragon. It could be an illustration in a book. Crazy. Okay. All right. I think I will do that in green. Okay. So um, we're gonna mark. The, where the lake goes, the lagoon goes, the cove, whatever it is, and then we're going to start with the colors, okay? So uh, for me, instead of just drawing, I, I, because I will not be careful, I want to go from he around here, I want to see about how low I'm getting from where the, the um, edge of the, the top of the sand is to where the sand meets the water. Okay, so it's not very far right over here. So that's like about here. It's not very far. So I'm going to make a mark here. So that when I come from here, I have something to aim for. I think that helps. If you don't think it helps, you don't need to, don't. And it doesn't have to be. It's not going to be the end of the world anyway. We do, the weird thing, well, I guess it's not weird. Is that It's kind of a slope. Here. It has this little piece that comes back in, but it, if you want, it will help you with your perspective. It will help that water to seem flat if this slants a little bit like this. If it's straight up and down, it won't. If it went that way, I guess it kind of would, but you, you wind up having it go around here. You know, you'd have your trunk pretty close. 
this little wire. Okay, so what, that's why I'm going to, from here, <clears throat> I'm going to mark, okay, I want a nice, I want a nice piece of beach down here, but I don't need this much beach because nothing is going on. And this is beige, and these are beautiful blues. And I mean, really, what do you want to color? Beige or blue? Blue. Good answer. I mean, look at it. Of course. So I don't want a lot of that. I don't want to waste my paper coloring in tan. Beige. Okay, so here I'm, I'm looking for about kind of where this point is. All right, so that's probably around here will be plenty. And I am going to bring this down. And I'm going to come in a little bit and go out again and like this. I don't know if you can see that. I kind of just wiggled it around a little bit. You don't have to. And then, then we're going here and if anything, we'll drop down to the corner. Okay. So here, what I did is I found about how, low, how far I want to get away from this line. I don't want to get my, have my tree fall in the water either. So I'm going to go right about there. I'm going to go here. Okay, and then I'm going to find a spot that's a little to the left of that. I'm going to come this way a little bit. This way. Bring that right across. Good? Great. Awesome. Okay. The next thing we're going to do is to do the, this triangle of trees. Um, I'm going to use two colors. I'm going to use a yellow and I'm going to use a light green. I think. Okay. Um, if, and, and I'm going to start here and with my yellow and I'm going to remember that I don't want to go much higher than about right here. Okay. So when I start here, I'll start really low. Just kind of lightly sketch that in kind of up and you know, if anything, kind of wiggly, right? So mm -hmm. it look like trees. Shaky. Like you got a shaky hand, like, like you, um, just, you just coffee. came home and you haven't had anything to eat and you're shaky. Mm. You've been busy all day long and you're shaky. And then you had a cup of coffee. <laughs> okay. So I'm going to put a little yellow on here, a little bit, and then I'm going to put a little green. Okay, actually, what I want to do is bring this up enough so that it crosses that brown line that I have here. Okay, that's going to make it look like that beach goes behind this, okay? Otherwise, it's going to look more like an island. Okay, so just a little, little up and down, jig-jaggedy, kind of like that. And that'll make it seem a little like trees. I don't know what kind of trees they would be. Hmm. I don't know what they are. Pine? I wonder if... No, not pines, I guess. I don't know. Put a little bit more yellow on there. Okay. Um, on this one, what I'm going to do is I'm going to put a little bit of green. Very, 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 very small. I want I don't want it to go above what I have here so if I have to I'll add on to the, the bigger strip here and what I'll do with that is put a little bit of white on it and what will happen is that'll make it fade a little and it will make it look like it's farther away okay like even here if I put a little white on this bit, bit. okay 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 and so down here I'm going to probably just mostly just scotch this. Mm -hmm. How about you, Daphne? Where would you like to take for a trip? Mm -hmm. Where would you like to go that you've never been? It's hard to think about that right now. Like to go to Scotland. Scotland. Yeah, in yeah. Ireland. We're, we'll do that. We'll do it. Yeah. Okay. Oops, 
and then a little teensy, teensy bit of something right here. Okay, did you see what I said about the green of these trees? I want that to go above the green that's on top of that line, okay? If not, it's kind of like, well, it would be, we'd be looking down on things more, but then you'd kind you know, I mean, it, it can work, but it just makes more sense for this to come up. You can always bring this up a little bit. And if I have to, you know, I can always bring this and this part up a little more. Okay? okay? And this one actually, I mean, it might almost come down and start to curve this way a little bit. Okay? All right, let's do the sky next because we, we want to work forward. And I want to have my white and this bright blue. It's, it's way, way, way too dark, okay, to be the sky here. But it's the kind of the same color. It's the same hue, but it's the wrong value. It's too dark. But this is pretty dark. When you look up at this, when you have a sunny blue sky day and you look up at the sky, it's a dark blue. And then as you work your way down, it gets lighter, but it's still not quite this dark. You'll see. Um, I'm going to use my light blue first. See how it's light, even lighter in this. We're going to do that with a picture. Um, the cloud is basically just a big white stripe. Okay. It's pretty flat along the bottom and then it has a few bumps and curves to the top. So we're just going to do that. And the bigger you make it, the less coloring you have to do for the blue, because we can pretty much leave it white. So I'm going to go just above like where my trees are here. That's where I'm going to choose for the spot. And I'm going to bring a wiggly line along the bottom as straight as, as horizontal as I can do, I guess. Okay, kind of like that. And then I'm going to go, you know, way up here and I'm going to make kind of a Go down, maybe up. I can use this as something to go by, but it doesn't have to be like that. Okay? Maybe go over here like this. Okay? So when I do the blue down here, I'm going to do not go super dark. Color that on there. If you don't have a white, you could use a light blue. You could use a real light pink. That would work okay too. Um, and so when I put the white on there, where's my glove? Oh, it's okay. Oh, you know what? I don't know if I'm gonna run out of battery. Do you think you can plug that in? Mm-hmm. Thank you. Okay, so see what happens when I put this on here? gets rid of the lines and it also lightens it a little bit. And I go right over the bottom of the clouds. I mean, the clouds actually, you know, they are a little bluish. You'd be surprised they're darker than you think, but I think for this picture, it's nice to have some of that white left behind. All right, like that. That's how that works for that part. That'll be good enough. And then up here, I'm going to use this blue, and I'm going to go a light coat of it. And then I'm going to put the white on top. Okay, so if anybody has a webcam they don't want, I need one. It's like... Next to toilet paper is like the next hardest to find item. I think it's because there's all kinds of computer dating. They said it was because of classes, but I think it's the other. <laughs> I thought I had one in my cart today. It was a lie. It was all a lie. Yeah, I blew that one. Why'd you call them anyway? I wanted to see, well, it didn't actually, I think it was a lie before even that, oh. even before I thought I wasted my time and lost it. I called them just to see if maybe they had some that were out of the box, like seconds or something, because I don't think they'd have that on the website. Mm -hmm. but. Okay. It's a little weird. to do the same 
same sort of thing here. So I need to be a little above my green trees. When you're coloring with charcoal, what's nice is to have some place that's really black that you can always keep coloring more black and then use all that extra charcoal on your finger to um, blur into other parts. So like if you're doing somebody that has um, black hair or I don't know, like a really dark shirt. Shirt, yeah, that's a good idea. Um, a shadow like of a bottle or something if you're doing a um, still life. Okay. okay. Um, water. Water's next. Um, you know what else I'm going to do now that I think about it before I do the water is I'm going to take a dark green and I'm going to bring that right along the bottom of this, right on this brown line. See how that changes and kind of attaches the green to the grass? Because you're going to have a little, for the beach I mean, you're going to have a little, uh, it's going to be darker with the sand against the trees, right? Mm -hmm. We know where the shade is. Let's kill people. I want my green all over here. There's a little more happening here because it's closer. We might see a little more texture to it. Please. Actually, while I have this green out, I'm going to put a little of this on my, um, my palm tree. If you know, if you look at a variety of shades of green, I think probably because the leaves, you know, that some are brand new and some are, are dying, and so they're a little, some are browner, some are brighter. Um, I would suggest that you vary that a little bit, even if you just use green and a little bit of brown, because it will definitely make a huge difference into making it look a little more sophisticated. But I'm going to take this, um, what do they call it? Sap green. Kind of a, uh, like a, army green and I'm going to do a little bit here and there with that. The other color I'm going to use is lighter so I'm going to be thinking about places where things might be a little bit darker. I don't know, just on the bottom of stuff. Um, when you're doing it if, it, if your tree looks funny, one of the things that might be not helping is if your, your um, branches are too short. Sometimes they're like that like this one's kind of a short one, but I've seen it happen where they come out really short and they look like a little pom-pom stuck on the top of the trees. So consider that they can be really long, right? I could even bring this down even longer and it doesn't make them look worse by making them look longer. It's kind of like somebody with long legs or whatever. It's like most of the time people don't go, oh my God, look at her hideous long legs, you know? They're okay with that. Same thing with uh, branches, I can bring this down a little. Okay, so when in doubt, try a little bit longer, maybe a little bit different um, directions, I don't know. Okay? Okay. All right, now I'm going to do the water, and I want to have a really pretty dark blue. And what I'm going to do is maybe not half and half, maybe, maybe a third I'm going to do with the dark blue and then I'm going to use two shades of lighter blue, but I am going to leave a little bit of white because I think that that will sort of be the reflection of the sky and I think it will keep it a little fresher. You know, it's the, it's the feeling of a blue sky and green grass and white sheets flapping on the line or on a sailboat and how fresh that white looks in a situation like that. So you, you want to leave some behind. Don't overdo, okay? I tend to, so it's like, I'm, I'm warning you from my own mistakes. So here I'm going to cover this brown line right up. I don't need that right there. I'm a little bit for the beach, but so far away, okay? And it, I'm going to go here. Ooh, you know what? What? Well, I don't want my sand to get all 
green. Blue. Oh. You know what I mean? Okay. Actually, let's do let's do the sand and then we'll do the water. Do you know what I'm saying? Because if I mix the tan and the blue, like it picks up the blue along the way, then it's gonna make it um, look greenish or bluish or whatever. And I don't want bluish. So I'm gonna take. It's pretty light, okay. When I mix this color, when I do, I usually do this as a painting, and when I do. Um, the beach, the sand, that's the hardest color to mix, is to get it very, very light and a little peachy, a little brown. It's like kind of crazy. So I might even try, anything will work. But you want light. So if you have a light, a tan or a brownish, I mean, if you only have brown, you know, you could probably, uh, I don't know. You, you could, could probably, do it yellow. Yeah, you could do it yellow and... Um, and let, maybe a little brown around the edges, and so the yellow picks up the brown. I'll show you what I mean by that. I've got this this pink, this shell pink here too that I think that might work a little bit. Okay, so say say in here I get a little browner near the near the trees. Okay, so I'm going to decide that my my shadow. My sun, I guess it doesn't make any difference where it might be coming from. So I think, I guess I'll go in this direction. So what I'm going to do is make, right touching the bottom there, I'm going to make a, and then I, I don't have to deal with the shape of the, oh, what's that guy from The Simpsons called? Bart? No, 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 the, um, something Bob, Sideshow Bob, and he has hair like that. Mm, I didn't really watch The Simpsons. So if I, you know, if I do a little of this, that'll give it a little contour to my beach. If I put a little more brown near the shore here and a little less here, it'll make it look like it's farther away. Okay. Um, and then if I do the yellow kind of over that. I'm just gonna put a little, little of these on here, and then I'm gonna use the white, just the pink, maybe or something. It'll be fine. Yellow is probably uh, the way to go. Something warm. Golden sands. I don't think your sands brown anyway, right? Yeah, or even gray. Oh no. You put it in the drinking water. Mm -hmm. That's why you put your rinsing brush on your right hand and your drinks on your left. Well, I should have told you that. So usually, what I tell it between the six when we start. There we go. So a little of this because this is definitely picking up the colors around it. That's kind of nice. I'd like to go to a beach that had. Pastels are a great way to learn about mixing colors because you can really control how much you're putting down. You don't waste any doing it. Where when you're mixing paint, um, you can go through a lot of paint when just some color is just way too strong and it always overpowers everything around it until you figure out like which colors those are, which ones are really weak, which ones are really strong. But but this will show you what the colors can do when you mix them together, and it's not so hard to figure out how much. I learned a lot using pastels. And it's also, you know, <clears throat> they're pretty big, so if you get a nice big piece of paper that you don't have to do too fine the details on, they're really great for working outside because you don't need to bring any extra stuff. Painting outside is a huge drag. I mean, it's like great, but at the same time you have to bring, I mean, if you're painting oils, that's a good place to paint oils because you, um, you, uh, you don't have to breathe in all the fumes, which is bad. 
but you know when you mix, when you get dirty water or dirty um, linseed oil or turpentine or whatever, I mean you can't dump it out on the ground. So you have to whatever water you bring with you, you have to bring home and clean your brushes at home before they dry out. And um, you got to bring all your brushes with you. And the other thing is, is that constantly, if you're doing acrylics, I mean the good thing about it. Um, uh, oils is they won't dry out. You just get bugs stuck in them and stuff like that. I've had that happen. Bugs and leaves and all this stuff blowing around in the wind. Um, but acrylics, they dry right up. It's crazy. Really, really do. It's kind of a drag. So that's one of the things I hate doing the most is putting the paint out. You have to keep doing it all the time. You want and they go to get it, it's all dried up. Right. So, pastels are good. And I really am not much for watercolors, but um, if you're going to work a little smaller, maybe have a little like watercolor sketchbook or something like that, watercolor pencils are really convenient. Because you need a little bit of water, but it's not as, you know as much and it's not as big of a deal as it is when you're painting acrylics or something. Alright, um, I can't get in there, but I'm going to use my, oh, how do you get an eraser out? Okay, here it is. Okay, we're almost done. Finish this guy up. This guy, this girl. Alright, so I'm light, lighten my beach a little bit. Don't forget to put the shadow in. Don't be afraid to put shadows in. They are the secret. I it blew my mind when I first learned about what the, what happened, what a shadow did. I was like, whoa, what a simple little thing, and it changes everything. And now when I walk around, I see them everywhere. You know, it used to be like you think you draw a house and just color it in, and now when you look at, and when you learn about shadows, you'll look and be like, oh, Look at that great big huge shadow of the you know the eaves on the side of the house and the tree and there are it's like a whole whole shapes out there and you when you you when you draw them into your picture that's a secret that anybody that is good at drawing knows is like put all that stuff in there and you, everything looks way better without you even really doing anything all that complicated so this is another secret for you. oh let me favorite color okay. We'll do the water, we'll do a little on the tree trunk, and we'll, we'll tree trunk tree, and we'll be good. So I'm going to get right along here. Daphne and I ordered uh, mm. like 17 new colors of pastels. And if you're interested, I did put a bunch of um, uh, links to different things that you could order on Dick Blick if you want to order things that I use here. If you didn't, if you can't find it, you know, just let me know. But um, the basic drawing things that I have, I have, I put them all on there. But the, but the pastels tend to come a little dark, so we ordered a bunch of light colors. Okay, I'm going to leave a little white by the shore. That'll look a little bit like waves. Okay? Yeah. And then I'm going to go with a light, two lighter, well, I'm going to use this delicious blue right here. It's made for the tropics. Okay? And this is a shoreline. Maybe this is the beach, or maybe this is um, a, a rise in the beach so that the water would r not be um, coming up. Waving, washing over the sand, it would only be washing here, so this would be the where the whites are. And I'm not, I'm not great at drawing water, but I, I like it. You can do almost anything with the water, though. Put a little this color out here too. Okay. And a little um, light blue. Oh yeah, and if, I think I might be on the news today, so watch the news, Channel 6. Well, maybe you shouldn't, because maybe it's going to be really embarrassing. Who knows? Mm. Nah. 
well, I won't really be embarrassed. I'll just be like, it can't, it can't be as bad as the last time I was. Oh man, that was ridiculous. I was having art camp, <laughs> and uh, I guess I got a message that Morgan Sturdivant was going to come by and check out art camp. <laughs> when she came, the kids were all outside putting their stuff out to dry. like 10 kids in. I live on the end of a road, so it wasn't like dangerous or anything, but they were all outside and we're all yelling and marching up and down and they were, kids wouldn't even let her in the house. They were just like, so like, who are you, who are you, who are you? They came in. But I said stupid things that time, so. All right. I am going to do this. Oh, I'm going to take white. Or something light colored. I'm gonna do my trunk, and then what the cool thing is about the um, palm tree trunk is that it has a little stripes on it. And I think I saved them. And so I'm gonna because my shadow is here, then this is kind of the back. The back side of the tree can be a little darker. I'll leave it a little bit light on one side, but I'm gonna bring a brown line down one side of it. Okay. Yeah, when we did this at Governor's a couple of years ago, we put shades, lounges out, and all kinds of stuff. I was just thinking I'm going to put a little bit of flowers under this tree. Okay, I don't really have the coconut showing, but if you were, you know, you really wanted to, you'd probably put a little, you know, kind of like a little bit of half circles here. Because the, the um, branches would be covering them a little bit. Some brighter green and get a little in here. It has to do with these little lines. I mean, you don't, you don't have to draw each one super carefully, but it makes it have that leafy edge, right? Mm -hmm. Does my does my tree look off? Do you need more somewhere? Um, it's very, I think you need a longer uh, stem. Like yours is right in the middle of the page. This? It's a little late, I guess. <laughs> <laughs> well, it's kind of strange, strangely placed. <laughs> <laughs> what? It's a little late to tell me that now. Well, being able to shadow in, it wouldn't be too late. I mean, yours in the middle of it. And that one of the photos in the corner. Well, there were, you were busy getting paint. You weren't listening. I want the shadow on there. That's why I put it there. Well, I know you put the shadow on. That's not what I'm saying. I'm just saying you can move your tree. But now you can. That's not what I meant. I meant... <laughs> I meant the leaves on the top here. Like, are they out of balance? Well, they're a little wide. But All right. that's and why I was saying. That's why I was saying make the. I would make the trunk longer. Well, that didn't work very good, did it? It looks oh, good. That's alright. It's so thick. That's why. Far right back. I'll just have to thicken it in some other places so that it, like right in the middle here, would be where it would be really dense. Dense. We used to say that. To when when people aren't smart. Or just when you were being dense. Like something Stubborn? my brother would say to me. Oh. You know, like you weren't necessarily not smart, but you would just be acting not smart. You're wicked dense. <laughs> my sister is wicked dense. You almost have a British accent. <laughs> really? No. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> Damn strange. <laughs> Nice. <laughs> Being wicked dense. Rude. All right. Like that. And this is what I'm going to do. Maybe this will help Daphne be able to accept my, set my thing. Is I'm going to do this right around the bottom of my tree. I'm going to put some of that. And then I'm going to take some pink. around the bottom of my 
Show you. Is that better? Cute. I'm so convinced. <laughs> it's cute. I do think it's cute. Okay. I need to do a little bit here, and then we'll kind of call it good. If you um, wanted to look at more videos, they are on free drawing classes with Valerie Walls Fine Arts on YouTube. They're also on the Facebook page. All kinds. There's more than 50. So you can try something else. Try something you don't think you want to do and you might really love it because you'll be like, I don't care how this comes out because I don't like um, windmills. And yeah, definitely watch the windmill one because it's a total disaster. Mm. But it's fun. It's a good one. Um, and tomorrow, oh, I need to tell those horse girls. Tomorrow we're doing a black stallion with a uh, sunset. Super fun. And oh, if you would like to leave a donation, make a donation to me. Um, there's a lit link right underneath the video that you can click on, and you can do that if you would so desire. Or like I said, you can share with a friend. That would be fun. What else? Mm, where can I donate to? Or you could also donate to, um, on, uh, it's not really, I guess not Venmo? donate, I guess it's paying me, but, mm, um, donating to Daphne so we can feed her and put her through college and Calvin a little bit and help him, help him out a little bit. Keep him, keep him not living in this house. <laughs> <laughs> it's very important for everybody's sanity. <laughs> Um, um, I'm pretty sure yours and his, too, so... Yeah. Um, Venmo. Venmo, Valerie Wallace, nine. Yep. Yep. Okay. Um, and hang in there, everybody. We are in this together. Reach out. If you need somebody, because everybody gets it. It's not one of those times where, like, what's your problem? Show us if you have a problem. It's like, oh, yeah, I know what you're saying. I'm glad I know that other people are feeling a little wanky. Wonky? <laughs> <laughs> and be nice to people in your house if you can. If you can't, trust me, I sympathize. <laughs> I'm going to show you a close-up of the lagoon, and um, I will see you tomorrow with a, with a stallion. And a bear is coming up because I forgot that I told Deb we would do a bear. And if you have a request, you got to let me know. All right, there it is. I see my usuals. Yeah, Lynn, me too. Totally wish I was on this beach. Hey, Jenny. Is Isabel there? Little Isabel, I miss you. You were so cute. Halls eight. Um, Kim, Margo, Erica, and the girls. Hey, Katie. Andrew McCormick. Andy Pandy. I wonder if he knows that that's what we called him. Now he does. You did? All right. Hey, Matthias. Thank you. See you tomorrow.